when it comes to food, like my recommendations are on point. My face looks really, really smooth. God, I've used them for so much. Whoa. Uh, seriously? Hi. Yeah, I took that, I, the one that I had, I took it over there. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is kind of a different video for me. Not really because I usually talk about food with you guys anyway, like in my favorites videos. And my video isn't strictly like just beauty or just fashion or just anything. Like I like to talk about everything. And in my last video, I had mentioned some favorites that I had, like my low carb favorites. And so many of you guys were messaging me on or commenting on that video saying like, please show us more of like what you eat. And I just realized I didn't put mascara on my lower lashes. Um, but anyways, a lot of you guys were like, please show us what you eat. Show us like your low carb options and blah, blah, blah. And the other day, I think it was two days ago, I filmed a whole what I eat in a day of just like some of my favorite recipes. And every single file got messed up. Like when I was trying to upload the image or the videos from my phone to my laptop, which is the issue that I have, every single image or every single video wouldn't actually open up into a file, which is annoying. So I have to redo that. I'm just gonna have to do a whole bunch of new video or a whole bunch of new recipes. So I figured with this video, since you guys are so interested in kind of like the meals and what I eat and all that stuff, I figured I would do this video first, which is kind of like my favorite, favorite low carb options or like how I've kind of been manipulating what I eat and still lose weight. So that's what this video is going to be about. There's a lot of food here. Almost all of this you could get at like Walmart. Yeah, I don't even think there, there's actually only one thing here from Trader Joe's. Yeah, everything is very, very accessible. It's very easy to find. I feel like my hair looks crazy. So if you guys want to see all of the things that I've like have been saving me while I shift my like eating habits, then let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to touch on is that I don't like to label the way that I eat, whether I'm vegetarian, pescatarian, vegan, keto, low carb, Atkins, no. I just know what works for my body and I know what my body responds to and I've kind of had a roller coaster of up and down of like gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight and so far as of today, I've lost 13 and a half pounds. I hit my two month mark in three days. So. In about two months, I've lost almost close to 20 pounds. If I get to 20, I'll be really, really happy. And this is with me eating things that I love, things that I enjoy. And a lot of people think that when you're not eating carbs or when you're eating low carb, you're just like depriving yourself of everything. And what I've learned on this portion of, or like this time around trying it, is that it's really not you depriving yourself, you're just substituting things. And I have found substitutions for almost everything. The only thing that I cannot find a substitute a substitute for is rice. Cauliflower rice is not the same, I don't care. There's a lot of things that try to be rice that I just feel like are not the same. In my next video, I'll talk about like my experience and how I've been doing it and like what I've felt throughout. But I don't even want rice. Like I haven't even craved rice at all. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys sauces first. So doing low carb, you're pretty much doing low sugar. Sugar is carbs, carbs are sugar. And your best option is to find low carb, low sugar sauces. A lot of sauces like barbecue sauce, ketchup, all those things are very, very high in sugar. And I have found like six sauces that I've used multiple times. If you guys follow me on Instagram or have been watching my videos, a lot of these sauces will be very familiar to you. The first two I'm going to talk about are these from the brand G Hughes. I have the Smokehouse Sugar-Free Barbecue Sauce and I have the Sugar-Free Honey Mustard Dipping Sauce. This one I've only used once, you can see there's a good amount in there. This one I've used a few times and the thing is that once you start cutting sugar out of your diet, you don't crave sugar anymore and like now if I taste something that does have sugar, it tastes too sweet or too sugary for me, like it's just way too sweet. So this I've used multiple times to make like barbecue wings, barbecue chicken tenders, I've made uh, barbecue chicken wraps, like 
anything that you would make regular barbecue sauce, you just throw this on there. I got this at Publix. You can also get this at Walmart. You can probably find it at Target as well. Um, same with this one. I got this one at, I think, Publix. This one I've used for a honey mustard chicken wrap. Really good. Only one carb per serving. This one only has two carbs per serving. And the serving size in these is two tablespoons, which is more than enough. Like, way more than enough. I'm not somebody that likes my food overly saucy, so these two just work really well for me. If I want something that's like, feels like a cheat, like chicken tenders, dipping them in honey mustard, or um, like barbecue chicken, I go for these two and they're really, really good. Okay, so these sauces that I have are, I think I showed them to you guys in a favorites video, my last favorites video. So I have this, it's from the brand Terrapin Ridge Farms. I found these at Marshall's, yeah, Marshall's. I have the jalapeno aioli, and the buffalo ranch sauce. So this one is like to here. Like I've used this so many times. This one is about to here. This one I love. I actually used this last night. Tyler made me a buffalo chicken wrap and he used a sauce that I'm gonna show you guys and he also put this in it. It's so good on pizza. So good, obviously low carb pizza, like obviously. Oh my God, I should actually go grab that. But yeah, this is so good. This is one tablespoon is the serving size. It's 60 calories and it's zero gram carbs. So you can literally put this, obviously you have to watch your calories, which is a whole nother story, but you throw this all over like a wrap or a salad or even chicken or whatever and it's delicious, so good. With this one here, the jalapeno aioli, I use this when I make my tostones de pana, which I have my tostones here and I will be showing you guys that in a recipe, don't worry, because I've been getting bombarded with uh, the tostones recipe. But I use this on top, like I just like drizzle it all over my tostones and it is delicious. It's not super spicy, so if you're not somebody that's into super spicy, this is pretty good. It just gives a nice kick. And I found both of these at Marshall's. They were $3.99 each and I love them. If I go back to Marshall's and I see them again, they're something that I would definitely buy. I already had somebody message me actually tell me that they found, I don't remember which one, one of these two and they ended up buying it at their Marshall. So these are great on anything. Now this one is gonna blow you guys. Like this is gonna blow your mind because it blew my mind. So if you go to Walmart, Walmart is the only place that I've been able to find them. They have all of the Taco Bell sauces. Like this one right here, this is the Taco Bell Chipotle sauce and this is what they use in the chicken quesadillas in Taco Bell or the, any quesadillas in Taco Bell. So I bought this, I've used like that much of it and this is for two tablespoons, it's three grams of carbs. So if you're having a pretty low carb day, and even then two tablespoons is a pretty big amount, um, you can literally make low carb chicken quesadillas at home and they're way healthier and way better for you if you just buy the sauces. Obviously this is technically like not healthy, like this isn't something that's healthy, but like when I'm doing something that I'm changing my lifestyle and eating a different way, I don't want to restrict myself from everything. Like this isn't something that I eat every single day. I've probably used this maybe four times in the last two months. Um, but anytime I want something like yummy and Mexican or when I make quesadillas, like chicken quesadillas, I put this in it and it literally is what they use in the Taco Bell quesadilla and it's so good. I also bought the Baja Ranch one and I bought one other one from Walmart from the Taco Bell and I've used all three and they're great but this one has to be my absolute favorite. Now the last sauce that I have to show you guys, I actually used it last night. I'm actually like pretty low <clears throat> on this one because Tyler eats this as well. This is the Hooters wing sauce and this is sugar free, uh, gluten free and it's for two tablespoons, it's 80 calories and one gram of carbs. So this literally tastes like you're eating wings. And this is what he used last night in my uh, buffalo chicken wrap. Like we literally take a tablespoon, put it in a pan and let it get really hot and then you throw your chicken in there. And it's so good. It makes like my mouth water every time I smell it. It smells so good. I bought this at Publix as well and I'm literally almost out of this. You can make homemade Hooters wings pretty much. I'm not a big wing person. Like I like them but I don't they're not my favorite. I usually just eat like chicken breast or chicken tender like strips, but this is delicious. Like you can literally make low carb wings that don't have sugar, that don't have anything like that, and you can make them at home and they're really, really good. Next, I'm gonna talk about drink sort of things and the two things, I don't really have a lot because I normally just drink water. Like I'm not somebody that's addicted to juices or sodas or anything like that. Like I drink water and that's it. I still have some things that I wanna show you guys. So this is something that I've showed you guys for a long time. I've been drinking the sugar-free syrups forever. Like I just, 
shifted what I was drinking and this was a, a while ago, probably over two years ago already. And I bought this massive, um, I don't even know what size this is. It's big. How big is this? 25 ounces. I think I got this at Home Goods. This is the Tirani Vanilla Bean Sugar Free Syrup. Zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs, zero sugar. So what I do is I brew my coffee like you would your coffee. I either do it on the little greca or I put it in my Keurig. Put either heavy cream, like I put like not even a tablespoon of heavy cream. Tablespoon of heavy cream or I use sugar free um, creamer. And then I put like a teaspoon of this. This, the flavor, just because it says sugar free, does not mean that it's not strong. I use like a teaspoon of it and I've been using this for a long time, like I said. You can see there's like more than halfway gone. And I also have the caramel one as well. The vanilla bean one is just my favorite. This is like the huge glass um, thing. These are the syrups that they actually use at like Starbucks and like all the places. Like Starbucks has their own brand, but you can get these types of syrups kind of anywhere. So this is what I use in my coffee. It's what I've always used in my coffee, honestly. But if you're trying to switch over from getting really sugary coffee drinks to something with no sugar, Highly, 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 highly recommend. I've recommended these for a long time and it's something that I still use every single day. So this is something that I was just testing out. This is Zevia. If you've never heard of Zevia, this is pretty much like a soda replacement. And I don't drink soda. I've never been somebody that drinks a lot of soda. It's just, I don't drink soda. So I bought these like a month ago and I still have some left. I only bought like a six pack of them and I have I think three left. So this is the Black Cherry Zevia and this is zero calorie, no sugar, no artificial sweeteners and caffeine free. These are actually flavored with stevia leaf extract. So these, when I say it's like almost scary how much they taste like the real soda. They have these in cola, they have them in um, ginger ale they have them in dr dr zevia a whole bunch of different flavors i got this one at walmart and if you're somebody that you love soda but you're trying to like break away from drinking soda because soda is so bad for you i would highly highly recommend these since i don't drink soda very often this isn't something that i gravitate towards like crazy like it's not something that saves me but this is something that if you drink soda this will save you like when tyler and i eat like something that's more unhealthy like let's say I'm eating like a low-carb pizza or something I like like I want pizza with some soda so I'll end up drinking these so if you're a soda drinker Zevia's so now I have the things that have really really saved my life and if you watched my favorites video that I posted some of these will be kind of repetition uh, but some of them won't be like there'll be some new stuff so one of the things that I want to talk about is the quest thin crust pizza this is the uncured pepperoni 28 grams of protein, 6 grams of net carbs per serving, and it's gluten-free. This is like my fourth of these pizzas, and they just hit the spot. They're so good. I only eat half. Like, this is a pretty big pizza. I could eat... I don't even think I could eat the whole thing because it's a lot. But half, for me, is perfect. I dip it in a little bit of ranch because ranch is low-carb, and it's just so good. Like, really good. They also have the cheese one, but I prefer the pepperoni one. Um, and it's weird because I'm not really a pepperoni pizza type of person but the pepperoni just gives it such a good salty flavor so I got this at Target I'm not sure where else you can get them but they are so worth it it's 12 gram of carbs for the entire pie so if you're somebody that like you eat one meal a day and you need to fill up your carbs this would be perfect it's 12 grams of carbs for the whole thing six grams of carbs for half and it's so good so this has been one of like the biggest life changers for me and this is the thin slim foods zero net carb bread this is a brand new package that i haven't even opened because i still have an uh, an opened one and this is literally zero grams of carbs and when i got it i was like i this is probably gonna be awful like it's how are you how is bread zero carb and i've never eaten it like this soft i always toast my bread i'm very much like a toasted bread type of girl press sandwiches i like my bread crispy and crunchy and warm so whether I use it to make a grilled cheese, I've used it to make garlic toast, I've used it to make breakfast sandwiches, I've used it, I haven't used it to make French toast yet, that's going to be my next one, but it's literally zero carb. So like if I want to make a breakfast sandwich rather than making like just scrambled eggs with avocado, I'll literally take the bread, toast two pieces of bread, I'll spread the avocado, put an egg on it, and it's literally zero carb. And you can do so much, like treat it like bread, that's what I do. And this is not, this one is my third package of it, and... It's something that I would rebuy over and over and over again. Even if I wasn't, like let's say I wasn't eating like super, super hardcore low carb, I would still get this because it's like, if it tastes the same, why not? 
you know you guys have heard me talk about this so many times even before now you have talked about it years ago and this is the Trader Joe's cauliflower stir fry this is my favorite rice cauliflower the taste of it is so good this one is a little bit higher in carbs this is five grams of carbs for a serving for about a cup but cauliflower and vegetables do have your carbs so it's better to get your carbs from vegetables than from anything else but the flavor of this is delicious eating it with shrimp or salmon even chicken if you don't like seafood so good I'm not sure I mean you can't get this anywhere else but I'm sure you can make your own stir fry if you just use like sesame oil peanut oil and stuff like that but it's it's just so good and anytime I want a stir fry situation that's what I go for I'm about to put you guys on to the one thing that has really like changed my life and these are the Joseph's Labash breads and these breads are the size of this they're huge so it's like a huge wrap for the entire thing, it's, I think, 10 grams of carbs. Yes, one whole bread is 10 grams of carbs. I usually eat them in halves because, as you can see, they're huge. I have used these for breakfast wraps, like scrambled eggs, a little bit of cheese, avocado, bacon inside of the wrap. I used it last night. I had a buffalo chicken wrap. Um, I've used it to make low-carb, like, flat little like pizza flatbreads. I've used them for quesadillas. I've done quesadillas with these as well. Um, you can get these at Walmart, Publix. If you're doing keto, these would technically be like dirty keto or not considered keto because they have wheat. But the way I track my carbs is by the net carbs. I don't care about where it's supposed to be like this or supposed to be like that. Like if it fits in my carbs, I'm going to eat it. And these taste great. I'll roll up my um, food in it and then I toast it on a, whether it's the griddle or my pan. I've even made a chimichanga with these, a low carb chimichanga. And I used the whole wrap for that, but that was the only thing that I had eaten that day, so it was fine. Now we have something that I never thought that I would actually say is a favorite, but this is almond flour. And I got this at Walmart, and this is a pretty big bag. Like, this is huge. And for three tablespoons of almond flour, it is one gram of carbs which is crazy a lot of the recipes that I use I only end up using like two tablespoons every once in a while I'll use a whole cup but it's literally a gram of carbs I have made low carb bread with this I've made um, waffles last night I actually made like dessert waffles with this and you literally just take it replace the flour that you would use and throw in almond flour and that's where I feel like a lot of people think it's so much harder than it is but it's like you're literally just substituting like take out what you're used to using and just substitute it for something else. Yes, it tastes different. It doesn't taste the exact same, but once you're used to eating this way, it's very, very, very easy. So these have to be my ul my ultimate favorite. This is like my fourth bag that I have of these. And these are tostones de pana. And if you don't know what those are, there is a fruit called breadfruit. And in Puerto Rico, I'm sure other places, we call it pana. And these, this is what the fruit looks like. It's a huge, it looks like a melon. And when they cut it and press it, it looks just like tostones. These are frozen, so it's like super cold, but they look just like tostones. Like you literally take them, I fry them in either olive oil or avocado oil, and then I load them with a ton of stuff. I do shredded chicken, I do cheese, cilantro, sauces, avocado, all that, and they are phenomenal. For three pieces of fana, it's six grams of carbs so this when i tell you these are filling it's just like tostones where you like you will be very very full when you eat these i can't recommend these enough you can only find these in like spanish stores like bodegas i can't find them near me so my coworker ends up buying them for me but it's three dollars for a huge bag i think i've only gone through one bag and i still have two bags in my freezer because i don't want to like not have them i love them now i have my sweets and my desserts category and it's so crazy to me because I used to be the type of person that I needed something sweet after every single meal. I couldn't go to bed without eating like ice cream or a cookie or something. Like I had to eat something sweet and now it's like I don't even care for it. But I do have little things that I take with me. Like I actually have one of these packed in my bag because I'm actually going to work in a little while. And these things right here, I'll show you both of them at the same time. These are from Atkins, and Atkins is all low carb. No, I'm not doing Atkins. All low carb. These are caramel nut chew bars. These are two grams of carbs, one gram of sugar. Delicious, super, super good. The net carb total is two grams. They're pretty small. It's not like a huge bar, but when I take these to work, I'll eat my lunch, and then I'll eat one of these, and I'm like good to go. So 
good. Like I'm shocked at how good these are. Same with these white chocolate macadamia nut bars. I actually just bought these a couple days ago and I only have two left because they're that good. I just had one like a little while ago. The wrapper's on my table. But these are four grams of net carbs. So these are delicious as well. These are a little bit bigger. It's like a full size bar. So if you're somebody that you like snacks and you like to take snacks to work with you, if you have really long days and you need something like to keep you going, I would highly, highly recommend either of these. They're so good. I take them with me every time I go to work. Awesome. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about is ice cream. And you guys have heard me talk about this before. This is the brand Rebel. I got this at Publix. So far it's the only place that I've been able to find it. But this is 8 grams of carbs for the entire pint. I've had this pint now for maybe three weeks because I just don't crave sh like anything sweet anymore. I still have like you can see like a little more than half of it left. This tastes like the inside of a snicker bar. Like this tastes like snicker bar ice cream. It's so 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 good. I also have the butter pecan. I like the chocolate chip cookie dough. They're coming out with new flavors that I really want to try as well but if you are an ice cream person just get one of these. These will do you so good. They're so good. A lot of you guys have already bought them and have told me like, oh my god, you were so right. And it's like, girl, I have a very, very broad palate when it comes to eating. So yeah, delicious, so good. I know as of right now, you can only get them at Publix, but if you can find them anywhere, I can't recommend these enough. All right, so now that this video is almost 30 minutes long, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the way that I feel. I love this new way of eating. It's, I have cheated a couple of times, like it's not something that I've been like, oh my god, no, I can't cheat. I have cheated, I'm a normal person. If I see, if I'm on vacation, I'm gonna cheat. If I want wine, which I do still drink wine, if I, if you know, if I go out to dinner and I want something a little bit heavier in carbs, I eat it and then I just get right back on this the next day. I'm actually gonna do a and a for my next video when I really talk to you guys about like the whole journey that I've been doing. So please leave any questions that you have for me down below. It can be whatever you guys want. Like I said, I've lost now 13 and a half pounds. So once I weigh myself on the 19th, I'll see my total overall loss. And hopefully by then I'll have filmed the video so that I can tell you guys about it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you guys haven't and I'll see you guys in my next. It'll probably be this video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you next time.